Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Wooden Railway Adventures, Episode 87, Rollover Rusty. It was a hot day on the island of Soda, and the Flying Scotsman was tired. He was trying to find a shady place where he could rest. But when he came into the yard, he re realized it was full of narrow-gauge engines. What are you guys doing here? said the Flying Scotsman. I'm trying to find a, f I'm trying to find a f shady place to rest, but I can't. Oh, and you guys took up all the good spots. Shh, said Rusty. Here comes Sir Topham Hat. What's this all about? asked the Flying Scotsman. Don't worry, said Duncan. Here comes Sir Topham Hat. He'll explain everything. Thank you all for coming, said Sir Topham Hat. As you all know, hopefully, the Flying Scotsman didn't like this at all, though. As you all know, hopefully, continued the Sir Topham Hat, a new crane has arrived on Soder. His name is Colin. All the engines were very surprised. Colin, said Renaeus, that's a nice name. Sir, Sir Topham Hat went on. Anyway, he said, I'm going to have an engine go to the wharf today to teach, to teach Colin about the island of Sodor. All the engines were hoping it would be them. The engine, said Sir Topham Hat, will be rusty. Everybody cheered. Congrats, Rusty, said Scarlowy. Yes, said Ivo Hugh. It must be a real honor to teach the new crane. Everybody, while everybody was congratulating him, Sir Topham Hat walked off. Smudger, however, was not happy about this. He was still new to, the rail new to the railway, and he was hoping that he would get that job. Ugh, said Smudger. Rusty shouldn't have gotten it. Ugh, I'm furious, and he puffed away crossly. Smudger saw Peter Sam and Sir Handel resting outside of Knapford Station. Ugh, he said, I'm so mad. Mad about what? Asked Peter Sam. It's just not fair. What's not fair? Ugh, Rusty, ugh, he said. What's the matter, they both said at the same time. You need to give us an explanation, said Peter Sam. Oh, no oh, it's nothing, said Smudger. Well, by the way you're acting, said Peter Sam, I can imagine it is. Yeah, said Sir Handel, what's the matter? All right, said Smudger, and he explained the situation. Ah, said Peter Sam, jealousy. The worst thing that can happen to an engine. What do you mean, said Smudger? Don't be jealous of another engine, said Peter Sam. Yeah, said yeah, said Sir Handel. Jealousy only leads to disaster. Whatever, said Smudger. You guys aren't any aren't any help. Well, you guys may th you may think of that, but we're pretty useful. Yeah, and if you're so jealous, go do your work to take the mind off of it. You're right, said Smudger. Thanks, guys. Smudger tried to sound cheerful, but he wasn't. Just then, he realized Rusty was leaving with some freight cars. Galio, he said. Where are you going? Asked Peter Sam. Uh, to do my daily daily chores. Yeah, that's where I'm going. That's a good engine, smiled Sir Handel. Rusty puffed into Natford Station, and Smudger followed quietly behind. Rusty puffed in. Hey, said Frank, I heard that you get to teach the new engine around the wharf. Yeah, said Mavis, congrats. Thank you, said Rusty. I don't want to be late, though. Best be off. Good luck, said Wilbert. And Rusty puffed away. A few minutes later, Smudger puffed in. Where are you off to? asked Frank. Well, yeah, said Mavis. Where are you? Uh, I'm going to the wharf. What for? asked Wilver. Uh, I'm just following Rusty to, uh, to make sure that he gets to the wharf all right. Rusty knows where the wharf is, but Smudger had already darted away. Hmm, said Frank. That was weird. Yes, said Mavis. Hmm, hopefully he's not up, up into trouble. Rusty continued along the line. He decided to take the main line. It would be the quickest. Meanwhile, Smudger followed quietly behind. Soon, Rusty came to the viaduct. This was Smudger's chance. Here we go, he said. Hopefully this works. Rusty had stopped. He, he had felt very weird the last couple of miles. He was beginning to worry that something was wrong. Don't worry, says driver. I'll figure it out. Oh, thank you, driver, he said. That would be really bad. This was Smudger's opportunity. He came up and he bumped the brake van a little too hard. Oh, said Rusty. His front wheels were tipping off the line. Help, said Rusty. Help. What's the matter, called his driver. But Smudger j began pushing the train. I'm coming off the track. Whoa, whoa. And Rusty tumbled off. Ouch, he said. Hey, who did that? But Smudger had already darted away with the train. Yes, he said, now I get to pull it. Who was that? Who was that? Asked his driver. I'm not sure, but now I'll never get to the wharf. I'll go get the breakdown train. No need to, said Duke. Duke, he said, did you see who did it? 
Yes, the Duke, it was Smudger. I was waiting for you guys here at the wharf. But uh, but then Smudger pushed you off the track. I know that, said Rusty. Oh, what am I going to do? Don't worry, said Duke. I'll go tell Sir Topham. Huh? Smudger can't get away with this one. And Duke rushed away. Smudger, however, didn't know the way to the wharf. Oh, well, he said, I'll just take it back to the yard and think of an excuse. Smudger puffed into the yard, and all the engines were waiting. Whoa, well, said Ivo Hugh, where's Rusty? And why haven't you delivered those freight cars to the wharf? Uh, Smudger was trying to think of an excuse. Uh, I forgot the way to the wharf. You forgot, said Reneas? Uh, yeah, and Rusty had to go do something for Sir Topham Hat. So then he gave the freight cars to me. Did he, said Sir Topham Hat. Oh, Sir Topham Hat, there you are. Uh, what was the job you, you gave Rusty? He wanted me to ask you. Oh, well, I didn't give Rusty any particular job. You didn't, said Smudger. What's going on here, said Duncan. Yeah, Smudger, what's going on here, asked the flying Scotsman. He was very curious. Uh, uh. Smudger, however, couldn't think of an excuse. Oh, sir, I'm sorry. I got really jealous because I thought I thought I, because I thought I, because I thought that I deserved to pull the train. I see, said Sir Topham Hat. Well, as you know, jealousy is a bad thing when it comes to... Yeah, I know that, said Smudger. Peter Sammons or Handley gave me that lecture. Well, good for them, said Sir Topham Hat. For now, please go get the breakdown train and put Rusty back on the rails. By the way, sir, how did you know? Duke told me everything. He was waiting at the wharf. Bother, said Smudger. I have to listen more. Yes, you do, said Sir Topham Hat. Key clues are important. Now off you go, Smudger, and leave these freight cars here. I'll have Freelis Freddy take them. Thank you, sir, said Freddy. Now off you go, Smudger. Yes, sir," said Smudger. Smudger shunted the freight car. Smudger shunted the freight cars backwards, and he went to go get the breakdown train.